Hello everyone. Hi guys. Welcome back to the church hall. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not in the last, for two reasons. Number one, um, it's over there and we're here and this feels nearer to where we are, <laughs> which is scientifically true. Number two, we've got a little, we've got a little glass of vino and it felt disrespectful to drink Cheers. it in the church. Cheers, lovely to see you. But a little Lebanese number actually. It's quite nice. I mean, mm. it needs a bit of time, doesn't it? It's mm. a little bit punchy. Yeah, a bit more tannic than we would have yeah. before, but. A bit chewy. Yeah. Uh, but, this, but this is an exciting video, isn't it? This is a this is an exciting. This is the kind of I felt we needed wine for this. This is kind of our favourite, or my favourite. I don't can't speak for you, but my favourite too, all the way. That we and this is kind of just what we would do normally. Yeah, we? we would have a drink of wine and we would just smell a load of, of samples. So we have been very kindly. Some very lovely people have sent us um, some samples. So. Rich Mitch, who some of uh, you may know, he has his own YouTube channel now. I need to check him out. I listen to him now and then on on sort of various Eugene's. streams and things. And yeah, I listen to him on and like I like Eugene on on that mm. channel. And and then when Rich Mitch is on talking, I would put those on and just listen when I went to bed. And I love the banter. And I, you know, <laughs> it's also nice to hear a Brit on those channels. Yeah, I feel a solidarity with Rich Mitch, even though we've not really met yet. I hope we do. But he, uh, I think he, so he saw our video about Abu Rouge and he, in it, we mentioned we hadn't smelt dress code and he said, oh, do you want to smell dress code? And um, I've got a few other Very vintage cool. gems, which I think you'll like. And he sent us. I mean, how kind is that to just reach just, out? Just, and I said, oh, can I give you some money? He's like, absolutely, no, no, no. And he's That's just sent kind. us this whole bunch of, <laughs> of, of goodies. Um, Fantastic. And I've also got some other um, vintage gems from another uh, kind soul um, who uh, reached out. I'd actually bought some vintage Gernon fragrances from me in the past, but he offered just to send us some little decants of... Very um, kind. This is Tony. Tony. Yeah. Um, uh, of uh, 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 some vintage, uh, some Gernon, some other just five-star, they're Luca Turin five-star fragrances, but they're big. I mean, looking at this list now is like being a kid in a sweet yeah. shop, isn't it? Jedi, yeah. April on Day Lextre, Volver by Balma. Oh. Uh, um, I think we, we, we're going to start with Lovely. with those um, those fragrances. I, I, I think because they're slightly, uh, you know, they're maybe a bit more floral. Yeah. Potentially, they're not going to be so rich. Which is said, and they would have softened over the years what, compared to some of the more yeah, recent powerhouses. Yeah, could be a, a, little, be. a little bit uh, yeah. punchier. And of course, we say all this through the medium of drinking a big Shirazi style <laughs> Lebanese wine. Yeah. But, Cheers. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's fifty percent Merlot. It's, it's it's pretty big. It's fourteen and a half percent there. So. It's what Jacques Galland would have wanted. Mm. I think. Is he still alive? No. <laughs> Very much no. Who's still alive with the Galland? Well, Jean-Paul Guerlain was the most... Jacques Guerlain died ages ago. He, yeah, he was the original, yeah. Anyway, on the subject of Jacques Guerlain, Jedi, anybody? I don't know, I feel... I feel quite nervous about this. <laughs> I, I'm particularly nervous because it comes in just this little vial here. So I'm going to try and transfer it to this strip. So we... Can I suggest that while you're doing that, I sort of dance around a bit and... Bump Provide into you. <laughs> Would that be fun? Uh, it, w it would be fun. It might take the pressure away. I'll sing. Is it exciting already? <laughs> so you can smell something. See, I mean, Jedi is something that's almost mythical now, isn't it? Yeah. It's the kind of unicorn above unicorns. Ooh. Is this something? Really, is this something <laughs> we need to get hold of? There's a lid, let's keep that stuff safe. It's sacred juice. Oh, yeah, it's just absolutely sick, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like, can I put like an earthy, leathery... Do you know, when I, when I smell this, I feel it's almost guilty, like I'm stealing molecules and they're going <laughs> up my nose and you're not getting them. I think, I'm going to give that back to you. I don't want to take all of the... And that's so unique, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I, I, I do, I get a leathery orris. Definitely. There's a kind of ambered quality to it. I feel it's quite ambergris as well. I feel a slightly salty, a salty sweet leather with the potential to be really dirty mm. when it combines with hot skin. 
somehow. somehow. There, there, there is an... <sighs> There's a kind of butteriness. I mean, I knew, I knew Oris butter is a thing, but oh. there's an actual butterness. Yeah. You know, almost like off... It's slightly like burnt off. butter that you yeah. get in a, in a patisserie. Yeah, or, or, or even... smell them baking. It's slightly on the turn. Yeah. So I've been sneezing all afternoon. <laughs> and I have hay fever. It's unrelated. Um, it's not COVID. I had that weeks ago. Oh, that's so beautiful. But there's even... I don't think there's actually any... There's a potential kind of dirtiness, but there's there's a real earthiness. The oris actually is really starting to shine through for me now. Really buttery oris. Little hints of smoky sweet labdanum sort yeah. of jetting in and out. Uh, only, but only the slightest. I think I do feel it's this very is subtle somehow. Actually, this is. I want to describe it as kind of beige, but beige sounds boring. But it, like. But it's not bright. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's quite. It's quite a. It's quite a closed, inviting thing. It's not. Mm. It doesn't shout at all. It, I mean, it feels it's really cool. It beautiful. feels. I could quite happily spend the next forty-five minutes just sniffing this. And there's there's a kind of. <clears throat> I think there are more floral aspects to it. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we're getting barely a fraction of this thing. Like, I, f- I feel like there's a, a, a kind of lily. I get some. I get something um, in a slight kind of rosy jasmine leather. Yeah. Aspect. I mean, there's definitely there's quite a, a big kind of leather, which I don't think is just the just the oris. And it even hints of a real vintage backseat car leather as well, just lurking. Yeah, well, there, I mean, there is, there is, I, I'm going to con- contradict myself and say, there is something animalic going on here, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, 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 fa- I find just a little dirtiness that's, that's mm. just, just kind of creeping, little wisps of something that's a little bit more, spill it? like burying your neck in, in, in someone's area, burying your nose in someone's area, mm. but very beautiful. Actually, there is, there is, I was spelling it off here, but there is something quite animalic, yeah. quite almost it's urinous, dirty, something crotchy. Yeah. Not in a bad way. In a really good it depends, way. Yeah, it depends if you like that. You know, yeah, definitely like kind of a used underwear. Like the kind you buy in vending machines in certain places. <sighs> oh, that's starting to get really addictive, actually. Much more so than just on this, actually. Uh, do you know, every time we smell anything of this sort of real vintage, yeah. I really do think people are not making perfume like this. Even the people that make the perfumes that we love, and we <coughs> say, oh, this is such a vintage style, it's still missing all those things which really make it... But the, that's the age as well, I mean. You know, yes. This, this is aged, and... I mean, there may have been top notes which have completely disappeared. Well, if that's, if that's what you're getting without top notes, I think that's a masterpiece already. Oh, God. How hard is this stuff to get now? Very, very hard. It's pretty much impossible, isn't it? Unless you, unless you win the lottery and you can just call up Man, Stereo Vassi I mean, and say, look, I'll give you... charges over £1,000 for a bottle. I'm sure you can get... You can find it. Mm. Have, you got well, pen, have you got a pen or a pencil? Or I don't. Um, should I get one? Should I run into the office and get one? Would it be worth? Um, no, I'll, I'll just trip it there. Yeah. <clears throat> well, <coughs> well, I think that's a pretty good start. Après l'ondé? Yeah, gone. I, I, I have to. This, this is the one. Where is it gone? Again, I'm nervous because I feel like I feel like this is a sort of slightly forbidden fruit. So this isn't X-ray. Um, which you, no, you haven't been able to buy an extra of this for ages. No, and in 1990. Mm. So it's, I think had that's a, right. it's had a good long while. Ooh. I mean, this is, this is a masterpiece as well, isn't it? Mm. Wow. 
I feel like we should just go down to Tony's place and offer mm. him lots of cash. Oh, see, actually, I mean, that feels, does feel quite top noted, doesn't it? Yeah. That heliotropy blue. Is there a lot more body to, the, to this mm. than, the, than the current oh, yeah, stuff? Yeah. I mean, it's got real. I mean, I guess that's the thing with the, with the, you know, the bottle I've got, which is like 15 years old, the EDT, is it's quite kind of um, God. short lived and, and, and delicate. Absolutely beautiful. Whereas this, this just feels everything is. There's a, there's a fair bit of kind of weight to it. There's almost like a chalkiness to the iris -y. Yeah. Flecks of blue, like blue and purple dancing and around. And I get more of a relationship to La Bleu when I smell this than I do normally yes. with the Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, It'll be the interesting to smell La Bleu in a minute. Mm. And ap I mean, absolutely <clears throat> unmistakable as well. Mm. Anis Elderhide. You know I was talking to you about Anis Elderhide? Yeah. Which is this slightly almondy, mimosa -y, Sweet floral with a hint of aniseed. It's just like a bygone age as well, isn't it? You, it really takes me back in yeah. time. God. So it, it was, smells... How old was I there? Like nine or ten? It smells so glamorous and expensive, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely stunning. Well, so far nothing has shaken my opinion that Gerard uh. has other masters. But I, lo I, I, I love that there's the just that hint, hint of sweetness against those austere blues and purples. Yeah. Which just, you know, it, it, as opposed to Jedi, which felt quite, um, you know, almost miserable. There was just a, 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 a hint of smile. Um, Leur bleu. God. Now, where, this isn't on the list. Is it not? All right. But we've got it, which I'm very excited about. Look, look at the I mean, look at, I mean, that's not what colour <laughs> level there is yet. So this is an extra as well. I feel like there's a song that we should sing while we're waiting for it to come Well, we did talk about doing a, another performance with. Hmm. See, having having smelled that just up after our final day, it, it, it smells almost kind of like labdanum, doesn't it? It smells it's uh, much yeah. uh, uh, richer and, and, and thicker. I think because that April day smells close to the, the modern like EDP of Le Bleu. Yeah. A bit more powdery. This is perfume at its zenith, mm -hmm. isn't it? A, a, yeah, a lot more, um, a lot more full and voluptuous. But that beautiful yeah. cakey, that beautiful sort of cakey batter, warm praline butter almond. Yeah, there is uh, that almondiness, which actually but slightly leather. But it, just, it it smells thick. It does smell thicker, doesn't it? Yeah. And it does smell. By a like, long way. It does smell. I mean, I said you know, Aprilonde smells like luxurious, but Le Bleu feels more like you know, vintage fur coats, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, I'm thinking, you know, it's lu much more luxurious. Grand, yeah. You know, not the Ritz, but a nice hotel. But you know, that, yeah. that kind of thing. Not the Premier Inn. <laughs> oh, I, I, I see. I need all of these in my life. <laughs> I was talking to a friend today and I was saying how I want to, I want to live a, a life of more moderation and... Why do you say that? Well, you know, just in terms of being, you know, s sort of being more spare with, with things, you know, never doing things to excess, always just being sort of in the middle and being balanced, you know, li living a less cluttered life. But then I smell something like this, and I think mm, no. I need this in my life. You know what I mean? Just oh, wow. Well. So other this, things, other things I can do that with. But this is uh, Von Vert, which is um, Parma by Gemacelli. When did it come out? 1947. So the only fragrance I have by her is oh, Jolie yeah. Madame, which I think we maybe we we'll devote a whole video to because it's really amazing. 
Wow, so that's... Wow, that's like super galbanum. <laughs> that's like galbanum to the max. It's so, it's so alive. Galbanum. Yeah. Like it's so bright and so energetic. And it's interesting, you know, having oh, like, this behind that as well, yeah. recently talked about um, that green spell by Eris. Oh, yeah. Which was a bright, energetic green. But this is much it's more so. Level, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, absol absolutely bright, shiny. I think maybe because we've had yeah, a few kind of dark amazing. things. Or dark, moody blues. When you look at the colour there, you're just getting these little. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how well you can see that, but these little green tinges there. Yeah. Um, I didn't think I would. I didn't think I would like such a green galbanum-y thing. Mm. But actually, I really do. It's got the bitterness and the and the sort of sweet, friendly. Mm. I feel there's a lot of balance. oak moss behind that as well. Yeah, I bet there is. And actually, having said it was bright and energetic, I think there's something moody and dark lingering at the back of that. There's a moody tobacco thing going on in the background. Yeah, there, it? people are just they're not making perfume like this anymore. They're really not. The people are trying and they're doing their best. I do. The more I smell stuff like this, the more I realise how much people are being restricted for all sorts of reasons that are, that are that are right. But but you are you know you people like your you know your salt and pastures and your yeah they're well, they're, they're, they're forging Saint -Saint. away absolutely. But that's amazing. That's really magical. I think that's. I mean, let's say I think we might devote a video to Jolly Madame because that's an amazing fragrance. We should. But actually, I think I should get. Because I love Galvan and I love green fragrances, and that's an amazing one. Um, where's Jeff? Uh, Let's try something quite a lot newer. Yuji Hom. So, this is. I do like this. I want to buy a bottle of this now. I, I enjoy the current stuff as well. So, this is the vintage stuff. 1999. Smells older than 1999. I would have put that in 1989. Yeah. My second year at Durham. <sighs> it's such a different world to all those ones we've just... I mean, it's good. It, uh, it doesn't blow me away. No. It's, it's, it's pleasant and it is... It's, I mean, Luca Turini gives it a five star, I think, doesn't he? Yeah, these are all five stars, yeah. Oh, they are all five stars. Oh, of course, yeah. So it, it, it just feels like a... A slightly generic citrus aromatic, isn't it? Which I would have placed in like 1989. It's got that dihydromycinal top, hasn't it? That kind of like, yeah. you know, that citrusy, lavendery, cool top. watery uh, yeah. aspect. It's good though. I mean, I do, I do like it. And mm. I think on skin, I would be, I would be more inclined. It's difficult to say. I think if I picked this up and you hadn't told me what it was. And I smelt it like this. I wouldn't give it another thought. Bit of spice in there. Anyway, well, maybe uh, we'll, we'll come back and, and revisit them all. So, right, they were so we've done Tony's. All Thank you, Tony. Some fantastic things there. So where should Jenny. we go? Wow. Well, yeah. Should we have a quick revisit? I want to smell them again. I want to smell Jaggy again. Oh no, that's a pretty long day. I was going to say. It's changed. It's just very RSC violety. It's I mean it's, it's amazing that it smells like so like a fresh brand new bottle. Yeah. It smells so bright and beautiful and drowned. It feels like it hasn't deep. really lost anything. Yeah, I mean somehow that feels that does feel like it's yeah. got everything going on. If that's a 30, 40 year old x-ray, I mean, it just... Well, it's, I mean, it says a lot, doesn't it, for how well that's put together. Oh, magic, beautiful. Um. Oh, so... So Jedi now feels quite animalic and dark. Yeah. And, and actually, really, a more leathery... That's really good. Yeah. That's really, really good. 
Oh. I would happily buy a bottle of that tomorrow if it was really <laughs> yeah. No problem. Oh, fucking hell, that's good. Jesus really Christ. Leur bleu. This feels quite serious. I'm quite. Like that. This has gone very, very heliotropy now. Yeah. And it's, but it still feels darker and richer than a Prélandé, doesn't it? It feels a very different. I feel in the modern iterations, the difference between these two fragrances is not as big as these two. No. I don't know if it, if they. In, as they've been reformulated more recently, they've kind of converged a little bit. But See, this smells more like Hasunahana now to me. Yeah, yeah, it's more, it's more, more, more woodier and ambery. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, that smells more like Hasunahana than the modern La Bleu smells like <coughs> this. That's really true. I don't know why. No, you said that. On. I don't know why. That just, going on. I feel that's like gone straight to my mind. Vauvert. Wow. I enjoyed this one. Wow. It's, it's such a breath of fresh air after those yeah. two. It's so green and it's, you know, when we were talking about green fragrances, saying they can often smell synthetic and this just doesn't smell. Beautiful. It's amazing. Really beautiful. But it can be so bright and uplifting. Oh, that's really good. And then what? Mm. And let's try the UG Home. Now, maybe this has done a complete U-turn already. No, it's, I mean, it's nice. As I say, it's just that um, slightly barbershop-y dihydromycinol -y. Yeah, it's nothing radical, is it? We'll have to do... We keep talking about doing a video when we, we smell some raw materials. And if we do it, dihydromycinol will definitely be one. So that's what you'll find in green Irish tweed and that kind of... Yeah, box. basically every masculine fragrance made in the 80s and 90s. Yeah. Um, anyway, speaking... I, of, I have that on my way to it sometimes, yeah. just to feel hard. Speaking of... Uh, so should we move these into a sort of... Well, let's leave them there. We can always come back to them. We've got space over there. Haven't we? Let's go... Let's move on to the Rich Mitch samples. Can we start with dress code? I, I think it's going to be a big culture shock. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see this. I've read so much about it, I've seen um, pictures of it. I've it's, seen what it. I didn't, I hadn't really clicked, is it so, I, I kind of remember it coming out. It's only 2015. Yeah. So. Not long. Uh, yeah. It is one This that, vintage perfume is seven years old. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Um, that it's one just kind of, yeah, almost kind of like passed us by. I have socks at home that are older than some of my youngest students in the place where I work, and they are, <laughs> they are 20 years old. So this, this thing is, is still mm. well, is that readily in our lifetimes. Very cedary. Mm. Any relation, do you think? To I mean, I, I, off first smell. That's nice though. I do, I do like that. Ah, there, but there is, there's, there definitely is relation, isn't there? Yeah. I get, the, really I get the, citrus, the citrusy, I get that, I get that leather backbone already. Mm. There's something a little, little bit sweet without being overly done sweet. Yeah. Just a little mm, hint. That's, Really, there's quite a lot going on there, isn't there? That's quite a complex fragrance. Oh, that's good. I think that's really good. Yeah. I get the Abbey Rouge, but it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's not done what I don't know what that was we smelled the other day. That was not good. But there's a, yeah a definite relation to all all of the best bits of Abbey Rouge. This is a slight sweet kind of caramel like. Not quite caramel in the lab, but like chocolatey. Nice and richness. Maybe a little hint of chocolatey or something, yeah. Oh. That's really, really good. Very pleasant. I would, I would happily buy a bottle I of that. I would buy that, yeah. Might but because it's still close enough to Abbey Rouge, but with like we were saying on our video about the um, flankers, you don't mind if it's just a yeah. flanker that has an aspect 
tweaked or anything. Oh, yeah, well, that's ramped I mean, up. There's a definite relation where his lung strength is. It's just another thing, yeah. isn't it? An abomination. Well, that's good. I really like that a lot. So my nose has become really blocked this afternoon. That's not great, is it? It's, I, <laughs> but I can still smell everything perfectly fine, but I just feel like I need to blow my nose. I need Let's a tissue. Let's try. Fact, tissue. What should we have next? Um, I don't know. But I'm going can to we smell Ho Hang? Absolutely. Pardon me. Now we've got Ho Hang and Ho Hang Club. Ho Hang, 1987. Ellie Roger, I couldn't find out. 1987. No, no, no. 1972, sorry. So this is uh, Jacques Janssen and Raymond Chalian. So Raymond Chalian also did Bouchon Homme. Ah, yes. Parfum d'Hermes and the original Opium. So, a good pedigree there. Have you smelled this before? No. I'm quite sorry. I've read about it. Balenciaga have done some good things. Give it a minute. Mm. Mostly getting kind of spice. Yeah, well that takes me back though. <clears throat> I think it's may, it may have lost some stuff, but I think there's there's a really interesting perfume there. <sighs> yeah. It's like a ghost of spice. That's one for the skin, I think. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's just, I think it's just starting to get it. Like, I mean, it, it smells like a kind of, you know, a masculine citrus aromatic. But it's just starting to... Yeah, it needs skin. It's it's old and it needs skin. I think it's a combination. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird how some fragrances seem to really, o mm. or especially these old ones, yeah. seem to open up on the card. I mean, I guess actually there's so many one. variables, aren't there? Should we try the? I like that though. There's something about that. Or should we do um, club as well? They're, they're, yeah, they're sort of, club. So really this is uh, 15 years later, 1987. This, this smells um, uh, bigger or more obvious. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> kind of si more cinnamony. Is it cinnamon? Something, yeah. <clears throat> it's a bit more cinnamon, a bit more kind of. Sorry, slight um, video issues. So the, these two ho hangs. Now we've given them in a moment. Oh. The ho hang club actually smells amazing. That's really, really good. It's That's real. Really exciting. I need a sip. Quite of animalic, actually. Animalic, vintage, leathery, spicy. Really leathery. Yeah. Very manly. Oh, the ho hang club's amazing. Wow. Isn't that good? Ellie Roger. Who I don't actually know anything no. about. Whereas, I, whereas the Ho Hang feels much more kind of delicate. Um, but also actually very beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful, but that Ho Hang Club is fucking amazing. I'm going to look up on my phone sure. and see how easy that is to get hold of. Where would one look? Okay, can, uh, just, can you go back to the uh, dress code now? That actually smells beautiful. really... But it's gone quite sweet, isn't it, actually? Yeah. Not cloyingly, though. No, but kind of chocolatey. That's really know. interesting. That's a really uh, interesting kind of take on 
quite reasonable prices actually on online. Uh, online club. Right. Sorry, I just have to look because I really like that a lot. Can I smell home hand club again one more time? Just to see to sort of satisfy my cruel craving. It's bloody good. Isn't I it? really like that a lot. I might have to look out for that. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, in real relation to Derby, slightly aldehydic leather, mm. but slightly anamalic. Quite similar to Nimitir, actually, like, which yeah. is a new print number one. Not a million miles uh, away. How about Pavarotti? <laughs> you could, I mean, he's, Dan actually is a tenor, so he can probably do a much better impression than I. Um, let's, let's try it. So this is, this is, I think, he just wrote Pavarotti, but I assume this is... Lutano or Pavarotti. Um, no, I think the perfume is just called Pavarotti. Well, I, I think he, there are a few that uh, Big Lucy released. So this apparently smells of vocal cords and <laughs> music. Top these. Yeah. I've, I've got a bottle of this somewhere. Really? I've had it, yeah. I, just, I can't remember the last time I ever looked at it. Yeah. Very familiar. I remember when last time we did this, um, whenever you're smelling these, these kind of like 80s vintage fragrances, you know, it becomes quite difficult because they do sort of, you're sort of getting the, the same thing. And there are certain key ingredients and key, not just key notes and accords, but key ingredients. Mm. This that lots of them have in common, which can be blinding and a bit olfactory mm. confusion. It's also like a bit brighter and sweeter than you'd imagine. Yeah. Almost like it could be like a slightly bitter green galbanum-y thing, but isn't. Yeah, but it is a kind of green. These, uh, these fragrances are so elegant. They're so well made, aren't they? Yeah. That's what I think, you know, sometimes when you smell... Simple and... You know, like that Pacaroban fame and stuff like that. Even if you're trying to be nice, you think... It's really badly put together. Like well, they smell. Gash. It's total gash. <laughs> when, you know, when you smell something like this, it's probably a simple, relative, cheapy. And like that new Abbey Rouge. Jesus Christ. Hmm. I really like that a lot. Again, it's just sort of simple. Doesn't it's not breaking any records for anything, but it's just really well done. Hmm. You know. Wow, this, uh, so this dress code, there's quite a lot going on there, actually. But like if, if you, if I picked up now, as I just did, I don't know, I would definitely go, right, dress code. When, when we know what it is, it's easy to spot the relationship. Mm. I mean, I, I would, actually, I would still, I mean, I, I would still say, is that Abbey Rouge? I would still say that's some Abbey Rouge type. Yeah, no, 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 you're, actually, there is a relationship. It's good stuff. It's really nice. I, I might look out for that. Yeah. I'm How about Aramis Tuscany? No, I love the current... Well, it's, I think it's sort of discontinued, but still I around. Think is, I think it's discontinued, but it's the kind of stuff you get on eBay, don't you? Yeah. So I've smelt it very recently, but not... I don't know how... This is probably older, Oh, yeah. It? See, I think this was a really good... One of the best of the, of the line. Mm, it's a bit more... It's quite bright and orangey. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. It's much brighter uh, than most of the Aramis. Has it got a bit of the old Dihydro Hydro? Dihydro Do you think? I mean, Dihydro Hydro boobies. Dido, that wonderful singer. Yeah, I mean, almost certainly, but it's, it's, it smells more orangey. Yeah. And a bit sweeter. Um, yeah, I think the current stuff that I smelt relatively recently, mm. within the last few years, is not, it's not quite like this. It's a, it's a little bit more serious. It's, it smells a bit more sweet. Something, I'm trying to think, is it the Trumpel Sandalwood or something? Like, or the, like the top notes of the Trumpel Sandalwood, without the Sandalwood. <laughs> you know that orange, that spiced orange of Trumpel Sandalwood? Yeah. I'm just trying to think what it, No. There's something. I know what you mean. I can I can get it too. Oh. 
Do you want to have a t- small jetty again? Oh, I do want a small jetty. It's really good, isn't it? <laughs> that's gone really animalic. I feel that's like inspired so much great perfume that we've not even necessarily known about. Oh, what is it? This is it like the orange concentrate by no. It's really, it's really good. It's very like, the, like the, the citrus is so bright and uh, kind of Mediterranean and uplifting, isn't it? I can't think, there's a fragrance I own that it reminds me of. Pegwell Bay? No. Oh, it'll come to oh. us. I, I, smell that. That's a legible that's thing as well. Big fan. That's sensational, isn't Big it? Big fan, yeah. That actually really I mean, takes me back in time. Ho hang, I, I feel like it could like take it or leave it. I like it. This is, I'm getting a slightly sort of talcum powder vibe to that, which I quite enjoy. Yes. Yeah, 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 definitely. But it just but I feel the club like is This is really good. This is really nice perfume. I like that a lot. That's amazing. Right. Onwards. Uh, how about the... I realise people can probably hear that in the microphone when I'm <laughs> yeah. gulping. Sorry. How about Oscar de la Renta pour Louis? Now, I like this. There's a, there's a new version which you can get for really is cheap. Is Oscar de la Renta, is that Pablo Picasso? No. No. What, what else are Oscar de la Renta? Oh, no, it is. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, it is. No, that absolutely is the same. You mean Dali? Dali, that's what I mean. That's what yeah. I mean, yeah. Artist, well. Hmm, okay. I think this might be a grower. That's, that's, that's a bit different. Oh, it's quite tame compared to what, what I've smelled in the sort of more recent stuff. I think that needs just a bit of time. I, I feel that's that's not quite. It what feels I'm quite delicate, yeah. Uh, yeah, compared to what we've smelled. Mm, I'm quite enjoying it though. I think I think I do like that fragrance. I, mm. I've not smelt the older stuff. Uh, what about this? Something different. This is an air de samsara. And ah, I was saying, interesting. talking about the original samsara, 20% real sandalwood, which is absolutely nuts. This is not the original. This is uh, 1995 by our mate John Paul. Sam is a great perfume. I've got a few bottle eyes here. That's very different. That's not the kind of earthy sandalwood. I really like that. That's really good. That that's that's subtle and beautiful, mm. I think. But actually, there, there is a there is a very sandalwoody spirit to that. Yeah, that is really good. Actually, I think that that's I think really, that's really rounded and beautiful and elegant and subtle. And it's actually interesting compared to the last few things we we smelled. It does automatically feel quite rosy. Yeah, definitely. Hmm, that is really good. It's sort of gently beautiful. Hmm. I really like that. That that feels like quite rosy sandalwood. <sighs> very bergamotty, very like bright, lots of space. That's a really well done perfume, I think. He's he's quite up and coming, I think. He'll do okay for yeah. himself, I hope. Oh, I, see, I can imagine that on skin just warming up mm. and doing its thing. 
That's really good. Very elegant. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. How about Valentino? Very Valentino. Yes. 1998. Very generous samples you gave us. They are. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, much, much. Also, it's so nice to have. Of course, with, you know these things are great because they need they need to be sort of delicate. But also, it's nice to be able to spray them and and not worry about dropping them. Mm. Although I do this. I mean, I do this like reminds these. me a little bit of. Um, Coriana by Gela. <clears throat> oh yeah. Which has got that kind of like slightly lemongrassy kind of herbal citrusy sheep brown. Do you know this is sense? this is one of the first ones of these that I smell where I instantly click and connect to the year. Like I smell this and I think nineteen ninety eight. Definitely <laughs> it's But there were a lot of funny things going on in nineteen ninety eight, weren't there? You know, that was the Aquatics were taking off. Well, yeah, yeah with, your, with your Aqua Di Gio and your Isamiaki and your. They were yeah, well, they were a little tiny bit before then even, but they yeah they were really then they were doing the rounds weren't they? And CK one obviously a bit early, but. That ta- I mean that takes me back to first year university, which was the year I went, and I remember that smell in the air. Mm. Yeah. I remember that smell. <clears throat> it's quite ambroxony, isn't it? I like it. I don't think it's a great perfume by any stretch of the imagination. It's interesting, having to smell everything else. It's this, 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 you know, it's getting into that ambroxony stage. The tide was already turning. Right, what have we got here? Should we do a recap? Yeah. Happens. yeah. I mean, these were just bonkers, all of these. April and day. So that's gone super, like, iris, like, mm. like, I know now, free. It's just such a beautiful perfume, isn't it? Mm. Even, you know, regardless of vintage, just the perfume in itself, mm. the concept is a really beautiful thing. I mean, I, I bought the newest April and day. And I think it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh. You know, in the yeah. new bottle with the cheap sticker. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Lovely stuff. Jenny! <sighs> Not too shabby, it's, huh? No, it's just this deep, dark leather brooding warm not warm warm but austere yeah just so sexy as well that is a real masterpiece I, ha- I have to say I think of everything mm. on this table that is so probably dry. my favourite thing I keep getting in, like used bandages uh huh in a good way? Yeah, in the best possible way. Yeah. See, Leur Bleu feels like nutty and rich and... Beautiful. It really smells more like Hassan Mahana now. Yeah, it really does. I don't really know does. what's changed in the ingredients. It's, or it's in incredibly almondy, do you not think? Yeah. Really almondy. That's, I mean, again, that's just such a masterpiece of yeah. perfumery. That's such a masterpiece. Mm. Von Ver. As is this, I think. I think it, it kind of stands out amongst the table. It, it's just been this bright, uplifting. Yeah. It's the only thing like that on the table. Yeah. Beautiful. Very bracing and. It's still energetic after but all something, these years. But something kind of gently animalic and going on with that. Now, but you know, God, I mean, a masterpiece might be a masterpiece. It doesn't mean. I mean, this Yuji Om. It doesn't appeal to me necessarily. This is one which, it's 1999. I could never have said that. I would have definitely said 89. Yeah. I mean, it smells really good. 
But I can think of a lot of other things like that. You know, your Atsari problems. And yeah, absolutely. 99. I mean, I don't know if I'd go out of my way to get that. If you see it on sale somewhere, you know, grab it maybe. So the, an Abbey Rouge dress code. They're again, getting this kind of warm chocolatey thing, cedary. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I definitely... Do you know what there's a hint of though? I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. I get this little, like a little gremlin of woody amber in the corner somewhere that's just creeping in and just saying just hello. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, just like a, yeah, the tiniest yeah, yeah. little yeah. whisper. I know you do that, you mean. It's just, there's a thing in that which, like I love all the Abbey Rouge aspect, but there's a thing there and I think, it's a harsh woody am, I gonna, am I gonna find you too persistent in five hours that you're still mm. here? knocking on the door. There's something there. I really like yeah, it though. and uh, it could eclipse. Yeah, I just wonder. It's just mm. the faintest little hint of something and I'm like, uh, hovering. Maybe that's why the hang is difficult to smell after that as well. Yeah. You can't complete, compete with a modern woody amber. I do like that though. Hmm. But not as much as this. Hand club. I, it looks like there's some bottles around on eBay for not anything too crazy. I have to say, uh, of all the things that we smelt today, the one I'm thinking I want to go and buy is that one. Yeah. Well, I want to go and buy Jody. Yeah, but. That's not <laughs> yeah. Really good. Really good. Yeah, top runs. I love, you know, I love actually being able to smell know, something that's really, know. that's sort of dated, but within our own lifetime. And also, like, the other thing is, for instance, that Mabet by Elvis. Is fantastic. It's, it's fantastic, but I kind of feel, actually, you know, that costs $150. And if I can find this for the equivalent of $150, I think I'll buy this. You can find it for less. This is Tuscany. That's an amazing citrus. I haven't got past the citrus, but that opening is really good and I, it really reminds me of something and I don't know what. That is good, isn't it? What is that? What is that? Is it actually just the original Aqua de Palma? 1904, whenever it was. No, there's something, it's a bit like more, it's a bit sharper and a bit more lemongrassy, a bit. It's, it smells, it smells like citral, which citral you get as a natural isolate from lemongrass, but it smells of citral. citral. Is this something that Prin has done? He's done a few things with like, mm -hmm. big lemongrass notes. Citral's mega powerful, like you only need a tiny bit. That is good though, isn't it? I mean, if, you, know, if yeah. you like something like Eau Sauvage, yeah. I think you'll enjoy that. Kenzo. Very classic feel. See this? Is that the Kenzo? That, see that now actually smells quite modern, like it smells more modern than in 1991. Yeah. Is that the right one? It smells a bit colony. I think it was. Yeah, because it's definitely not, um, it's definitely not Valentino. Mm. I mean, it's, and it's definitely not. Let's do Oscar Carmelo Samsara. That's gone super soapy, super, super soapy. I quite like that actually. Yeah. But it's a real soapy, oh. talcum powdery. I do quite enjoy that. You can buy it for like 12 quid, I think, on TK Maxx sometimes. Mm. Oh, I know this, I'm sorry. That, that's really elegant. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. So I've got that See, that's another level of pack band thing on my hands. Oh, really? It's just monstrous. <laughs> you were brave to put it on there. Mm. Let's try the very Valentino. Yeah, that, that smells very, very ambroxony. It's very funny how it's like. 
Yeah, like Dunhill Red and those that sort of things. Mm. Which I did, I did, I have to say, mm. it's interesting. I loved those things I remember about that time. And it would smell something like this, and I'd go, oh, that's a really good smell. And I could mark it out as being different from a lot of other stuff. But I couldn't mark, I couldn't tell why I liked it necessarily. But now looking back, I think, how did I like that? But the point is, I can see why people do like things. Yeah. They, they latch onto something. Well. Yeah, I mean, that's not my favourite. Uh, that, that Amber Extreme, whatever it is, in um, Abbey Rouge is just... Can you smell it? Just, it's, it's just sort of nest, nesting yeah. around, isn't it? I'm still, I'm still, if I got hold of Wattle, I'd be happy. Yeah. Um, wow. What a selection. So thank you, Rich, Mitch, and Tony. Um, yeah, you're amazing. It's so generous. This is my favourite thing, really, to do this. Yeah. Stuff <laughs> that we, I mean, stuff that we just barely even find on the shelves these days. Well, most of you can't. I mean... Yeah, to time travel like this is amazing. Is, I mean... The longest short, if anyone wants to give us a bottle of jelly... I would happily take that. Um, I would love. To, I, I actually like to buy a bottle of dress code and, and wear it and see how it goes. I wonder why it was discontinued. Um, but how hangs yeah, up? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do they intend to discontinue? Do they make these flankers sometimes thinking we'll just release this for a couple of years and then we'll like all, all the, shift it? You think all the cost of like advertising everything? There must be something in it which was it either did really well. Oh, sorry, either did really badly, or there was something in it. Which became restricted. Yeah, maybe. Uh, anyway, if you uh, you have any more, we were just trying these on card. You know, it's yeah, we it's need really to nothing more skin. than kind of first impressions. So if you've if you've um, tried and worn these fragrances, um, please let us know. The bloody good. Yeah, we've had a lovely time. Yeah, thanks, guys, for sending those. Until next time. Happy sniffing. Right.